everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm Teresa. Today we're going to make an elegant DIY wall mirror with side pieces. The items you're going to need are a small Dollar Tree mirror and a wooden hoop. You're going to need backing for your mirror. I'll be using this styrofoam disc and a wooden disc. We're also going to need Dollar Tree napkin rings. You'll need Dollar Tree spoons or forks. You need some flat wooden toothpicks. We're also going to be using these flat back gold and pearl beads. You'll need to cut out some circles using a piece of cardboard. You'll need some spray paint. I'll be using gold metal spray paint for this DIY. We're also going to be using these beads. Um, I purchased these beads at the thrift store. As you can see, they look kind of ragged. I'm going to clip them off and um, we're going to be using them for this DIY. I'll give you a couple of examples of substitutions that you can use for these uh, type of beads. You're going to need to hang your wall mirror. You can use um, this Dollar Tree framing kit. You can also use some lightweight mounting tape. And for your side pieces, we're going to be using two small pieces of cardboard. You're going to need your E6000 or stronger glue, your wire cutter, your scissors, glue gun. So let's get started. First, we're going to put together the base and the mirror for the DIY. Make sure you use your E6000 or stronger glue. Use a lot of glue for your base so that it's nice and strong. Then you're going to glue your hoop onto your Dollar Tree mirror. So that it looks like this. I had to cut my hoop so that it will fit the mirror. If you're going to spray paint your hoop, do it before you glue it onto your mirror. Then I'm going to add the beads I told you about. I also told you that you can substitute these. You can just use regular Dollar Tree gold or whatever color beads you want. Also, if you have Christmas trim that you put on the tree, I found some of this in my attic. Um, you can use something like this. The reason why I didn't use this is because I didn't have enough. I just had this. But any kind of um, plastic necklaces, kid necklaces that you may find, you can also substitute this. First thing, I'm just going to spray paint these. And once they're spray painted, it looks like this. And then we're just going to glue them around the edge of the hoop so that when you're done it looks like this. And then you're going to add your smaller beads. Just going to glue them on. Finish this up off camera, I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Now once you've added your small beads to your mirror, this is what it looks like. Now we're going to make the rays using the Dollar Tree spoons or forks. You're just going to take your Dollar Tree utensil and snip the head off, leaving you with the handles like this. Then You'll spray paint all of your handles so that it looks like this. Now I'm going to show you how I made each ray. And I'm going to be using the glue gun. I'm not worried about um, using any of the extra hold yet. I'm just going to tack these in place pretty much. So I'm going to eyeball where I want to glue the spoons. I mean the handles.
and you'll have three of these for each ray. So they stack up like this. Now, to make sure that they stay, this is where you use your E6000 or stronger glue. You're going to put your glue right in here. I'll do it with the glue gun. You're just going to add glue where your handles meet. Glue them in place. Like that. So they aren't going anywhere. Once you add your strong glue, they aren't going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. And don't worry about how it looks on the back because you're not going to be able to see it. Now, I made 22 of these for uh, my mirror. You don't have to use that many. It's up to you. Now, I'm going to show you how to make the decorations to glue onto each one of your rays. You're going to need your toothpicks, your round cutouts, and your flat back gold and pearl beads. The first thing you want to do is glue your small flat back gold bead to the center of your cutout circle. And by the way, you can use circles, you can use squares, you can use diamonds, triangles, whatever shape you want. And then you're going to glue your small round flat back pearls around the gold bead. So when you're done, it looks like this. Then you're going to take your toothpick, you'll glue your larger pearl, flat back pearl bead on the end, then your gold bead, and then your larger pearl bead. And it looks like this. Then you'll take your flower bead, glue it on, and you'll snip off the leftover toothpick. This is what you have, your decoration for each one of your rays. And then you're just going to use a lot of glue, and glue it right there on the end. And the next one that you use, that you make, the next rays that you make, ray that you make, you're going to make sure that they're pretty much the same size. So that when you're adding it to your mirror, they're not uneven. Now I'm going to show you how to make the long thin rays for your DIY wall mirror. You're going to need your flat toothpicks and your beads or your substitutes, whatever you're using. If you have bamboo sticks that are thin, you can use your thin bamboo sticks. I didn't have any, so I glued two of the toothpicks together to get a nice length. So it looks like this. And then I glued the beads onto the toothpick looks like this. And then I spray painted them using my gold spray paint. Looks like this. Very easy. Now I'm going to show you how to place your rays onto the base of your mirror. I've already laid these out. I haven't glued these down. I put them in place to show you how they go. So you'll make sure you use Plenty of glue, your E6000 or stronger. And then you're just going to place your ray like this. 
your thin array. I placed it near the last pearl on the base. Now I'm going to finish these up off camera. When I come back, I'll show you how to make the side decor. Now I'm going to show you how to make the side pieces for your DIY wall mirror. You're going to use your wire cutter, cut your napkin ring in half. You'll, do, you'll cut two of these in half. You'll glue your two halves together, spray paint them so that it looks like this. Then you're going to glue on your flat back pearl beads. If you don't have the flat back pearl beads, you can certainly use string beads. And once you glue them on, to your uh, piece. You can decorate it however you want, but mine looks like this. And then you're going to use your piece of cardboard that I showed you, spray painted. Then you're going to take two of your rays using your E6000 or stronger glue glue them together, put plenty of glue on it, and then you'll take this piece, glue it on, and it'll look like this. So you'll have two of these. I'll put this all together, come back, and show you the entire DIY.